بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹیکنیکل اینڈ بزنس کمیونیکیشن دس از لیکچر نمبر ففٹین رپورٹ رائٹنگ اینڈ دس از پارٹ نمبر تھری ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا لانگ اینڈ فارمل رپورٹس لانگ اینڈ فارمل رپورٹس وی ول اسٹڈی اباؤٹ دا پرپز وائی وی نیڈ ایٹ دا گائڈ لائنس فار رائٹنگ اے فارمل رپورٹ the major components like the front matter what includes the text and the back matter and we will go through the uh, the primary research and the secondary research which is needed for the long formal reports and in the end your seventh semester uh, what kind of report you will be uh, working for in your seventh semester so why write a long and formal report the subject matter is so complex or and the details are needed that a short report will not be enough to cover the topic example is for example there are two companies and the possibility of impending a merger between these two companies so if you are asked to write a report about this possibility of this merger you have to go through and figure out the difference the finances the equipment the employee committees facilities etc so this will all need a long report with a complete research for a successful merger long reports require additional sources they are not simply extensions of short reports so there will be some additional things that are specific to long reports that we have to do long reports will with far reaching effects very effective long reports they require good amount of research they need good amount of time as well as some resources of the people many resources and the money the titles of long formal research reports for example the increase increasing importance of mobile communications security procurement deployment and support so a long report actually addresses all possible aspects of a given topic for example in this one this is the title of a long formal research report which is exploring the mobile communication from all these aspects of procurement deployment support and security so the type of long reports they can be informative they can be analytical and there can be recommendations for example let's say that your company is expanding globally and will need van a wide area network that spans a large geographical area in a long formal report to management you might first try to inform the audience that this van will meet the strategic goals of storing transmitting information to your global co-workers the report will also analyze the ways in which this network will be safe it will be reliable the fast and more efficient and finally the rep- report will recommend the best designs for providing secure communications to the clients the partners vendors and co-workers co-workers Ultimately you must persuade the audience through research that your envisioned network's design the hardware specifications you have chosen the software you have selected and the estimated budget will satisfy both internal and external uh, needs such a report would have to be uh, informative analytical and persuasive to convince the audience about your recommendations <coughs> information now in information rep- reports you focus on the facts to help the reader to understand the situation to explain the context and what is the status of the topic for example uh, for a backup data storage case in this case uh, you identify the description of the uh, you identify the facts for example here due to the events such as 911 the importance of maintaining the mission critical electronic data and backups 
has become evident for companies that wish to avoid a cat catastrophic uh, outcome. Moving a data to a separate off-site location. Now, the, now this is the idea of uh, having an off-site backup. So this report is exploring uh, the possibility of providing a data backup which is off-site, that is away from the main office. So you identify your research about the threats to your data, dangers and cost of the data loss. You try to convince people when and what data should be backed up and how often it should be backed up, how long should I keep computer backups and all this stuff. Analysis required to the previously you have collected all the information. Now you need to expand on this information. You have to interpret based on your information and you have to draw the conclusions. This is what analysis requires. So in this second stage, the analysis of the backup data storage option. You explore, for example, here, uh, based on the alarming statistics considered, considering the high cost of uh, not expecting the unexpected, there are two main types of off-site data storage we are providing. For example, one is off-site data storage facility, the other is internet data storage facility, like cloud computing. And there is a comparison. For example, these are the two options available. You research for the first one and the other one. Uh, which one is residential location? So it will be free. For the other one, it will cost us like, like five to six fifty per month, depending on the space and features. You also explore with respect to reliability, the with respect to uh, security and the scalability. So this the analysis required to explore all the options, and also for example the ease of uh, use, and finally the conclusion for the analysis. So regardless of how much, rega regardless of how much regardless of how much or how little a business uses a computer your company will create important and unique data even for your individual laptops you are having an important data the unique data can include financial and project budget records digital images client profiles and all this data loss is likely to occur for many reasons for example hardware failure 44 42 percent it is because of the hardware failure May human error 35 percent and software corruption chances are 13 percent pc viruses 7 percent and hardware destruction 3 percent all these are all the statistical um, possibilities that can happen recommendation recommend action based on uh, the follow-up of your findings and recommendation tells the audience uh, that why they should purchase a product and uh, or use a service or choose a vendor or select a software package or follow a course of action so recommendations are the uh, very important value added uh, uh, outcomes of a report these are very important and should be carefully written now here for example the before recommendation here uh, you have the whole criteria and then based on uh, and then every criteria uh, has uh, some weight out of uh, like hundred percent so for example ease of use you are considering for five percent and the cost you are given it a weight of 15 percent and the reliability is very important so you have given it the 30 percent and then you compare these two options uh, about their ratings and their scores and after that you have a complete score uh, like 3.1 and 2.95 you can use any scale from one to five for example one is poor and five is excellent so uh, both of them you you provide them a number uh, based on this and you calculate it so in the recommendation after having this uh, whole analysis way analysis uh, because uh, nitrous solutions does not currently have a network infrastructure in place the data storage decision should be considered a high priority since all new data that the company creates will be significant to the company's overall success Alpha Beta Consulting recommends that Nitrus, this is the company that you are uh, writing for uh, uh, this report, the Nitrus uh, solution 
use the residential off-site uh, uh, data storage option due to the slight advantage it has over a professional storage facility. The one real advantage between the two is cost. And uh, we can see that the cost is scoring for both of them. And whereas uh, the resi residential storage is free with no uh, contracts or uh, monthly charges, a storage facility will charge anywhere from five dollars to 650 per month depending on the size of the data and the equipment needed to be accommodated with this data if nitro solution determines the need to have uh, multiple backup solutions rather than and so on so uh, due to the popular demand and increasing technology many different companies are now offering free trials for their internet storage nowadays because of the unknown uh, intention of the nitro solution and uh, only the features of the internet storage will be researched almost all options for internet companies are either compatible or, or so this is the way how you will uh, recommend it now the major components of a long form report the major components are the short reports are easy to follow but the long reports demand a proper structure so this is a kind of a structure that we should follow the title page and uh, uh, the title page cover cover letter uh, and table of contents illustrations abstract introduction discussion and uh, continues in all the way then conclusion and then the glossary uh, work cited and the appendices so this is the whole structure uh, a well structured long format report and basically the, we can divide this into uh, three uh, portions so the back matter the front matter and the text in between that now let's see what front matter includes front matter will include the title page the cover letter uh, table of contents list of illustration abstract or executive summary so the title page title page tells your re reader about the title of the long report the company the writer and um, uh, where you are submitting the report date on which the long report was completed so if the long report is being mailed outside your company to a client you also might need to uh, include on the title page the audience to whom the uh, report is addressed if the long report is being submitted within your company to uh, peers uh, subordinates supervisors or owners you might want to include a uh, routing uh, list of the individual for example this so prepared by uh, reviewed by recommended by and then finally the approved so this is a, a, a route with a routing information, a title page, and this is uh, the title page without the uh, routing information. You have the title and for whom you are writing, okay, to, and then the submitted by, done, and this is the date, okay. So, <coughs> so cover page is next in the cover page. Uh, you provide um, uh, why you are writing this uh, report and uh, what are you uh, writing about this main subject and uh, what is the importance um, uh, what exactly of the importance is within this report why it is important and um, what you plan to do next as a follow-up and uh, uh, when the action uh, when the action should occur and date uh, is also important so in cover letter provide the um, the, uh, provides the reader an overview of what uh, is inside this report then the table of contents uh, for example uh, uh, the, for the table of contents before uh, this is bas basically a table of contents uh, in which you mention okay the abstract there will be abstract con introduction and discussion and the conclusion recommendation glossary and references okay but they are poorly written but not very well so uh, to help the reader uh, to locate uh, the areas of their interest because this is a, might be a long report of 100 or 200 pages okay uh, so it is better that you add secondary and third level of readings for example introduction so within the introduction you mention okay this is the purpose background and problems and with the problem you are ex ex uh, further adding the third layer that you will add at 1.1 1 .1, uh, uh, 131 you are discussing about the profit loss next you are discussing about the equipment cost then the, uh, the then you are discussing about the repair cost and indirect cost 
and so on and also in the solution discussion this is the solution and you are discussing about the computer monitors here uh, hard drives here the printers here and the computer operations are here okay so table of contents should be good so that uh, you, you help reader uh, to locate the sections of their interest so this is uh, uh, the complete uh, uh, table of contents uh, for a very nicely structured report then list of illustration list of illustration if your long report contains several tables or uh, figures so it is better to provide the it is needed to provide the list of illustration and this list can be uh, included be below your table of contents if there is a room or on the separate uh, next page uh, for example but they should be very good uh, this is not a good one because figure one what is talk what uh, figure one is talking about what figure five is talking about what is table one about so a better one will be uh, that you specify figure one is basically revenues compared to expenses uh, on page two table one uh, mechanism specification uh, three okay table two cost expenditure savings profit okay so this way uh, you this will be a smart way to put the list of illustration and this is uh, uh, if you don't put it properly not good abstract or executive summary is important the abstract is a brief overview of the proposal or the long report and uh, for a long report it may be from one to two pages executive summaries for example are important again an executive summary similar to an abstract but uh, they are generally longer than the abstract and uh, they can be found at the beginning of uh, either a formal report or a proposal and they are very the key points in the um, summary should address like uh, begin with the purpose of this statement and give an overview of the key ideas discussed inform the reader about the problems that will be affected by the outcome and suggest the solution to the problems and conclude and recommend a course of action so this is something which is very important and the top management or CEO or uh, uh, the company head will uh, will be reading this and this should uh, give the complete uh, picture about about the report in a short um, reading key parts of an ex executive uh, ex executive report uh, include uh, to write an um, effective and concise uh, summary it's very important that you highlight the important details and uh, also uh, the statistical or the information details uh, should be uh, finely tuned there and mentioned in terms of like percentages or outcome that overall uh, calculations so an effective summary can include the following for example the purpose and scope of the report and stating the problem or the need of a uh, uh, and your ability to improve the situation the research or the methods that you use in developing the contents conclusions of uh, about your analysis of the report um, and then showing the uh, how the problem can be resolved the uh, overall project management plan and the timetable total project budget and recommendations be based on your findings the text will include introduction which will highlight the purpose the issues and the background what kind of problems uh, you are faced yeah, you might have faced and the discussion and finally the conclusion so this whole stuff is this whole stuff is basically the text or the discussion or the main matter of a long report introduction the issues the background the problems discussions and finally the recommendation in introduction a uh, clearly highlight the purpose why are you writing the report okay and what you want to achieve from this report and the uh, next is the background and problem the background whereas the purpose statement should be limited to one or three statements you have to clearly identify that your uh, what is the main focus of uh, this uh, report what are the background uh, issues or the problems that you are going to cover here and uh, clearly state the problem and background information uh, for about the uh, situation that you are writing then for example you have to add the complete uh, discussion it's uh, the the main body of your uh, uh, report and it depends upon you how you are going to manage this thing and uh, for, for example 
uh, it's like around 85 percent of the text so you provide the analysis what are the existing situations the solutions and different benefits and what are the uh, product specifications of the mechanism or the pr facilities or products that you're talking about or working for uh, is there any com comparison or contrast to provide it what are the options and the assessment of the needs the feature of the system or the products that you are discussing and the optional approaches if we can have or other methodologies to solve the problem and then the uh, how uh, managerial change of the commands or the organizational chart how the things will go and move uh, biographically sketches of the persons the, depending upon the it all depends upon the specific uh, thing that you are writing about corporate employees years in the business and so on so discussion is basically uh, will reflect around 85 percent of the whole uh, of your work out should you use cost analysis profit loss survey results warranties online have maintenance this includes all of it and finally the conclusion about the report so sum up uh, whatever you have written yeah, with your all understanding and the knowledge your recommendation will be like this suggest the next course of action this is very important and um, uh, it will highlight mainly it is important to highlight and reflect back into the uh, into the, your report about the techniques uh, and the other main stuff the back matter include the glossary the works cited reference page and appendices which are optional glossary for example uh, it, because you will have uh, numerous readers with multiple uh, multiple level of expertise so you you must be concerned about uh, your use of high-tech language so whenever you use any uh, high-tech language provide properly abbreviations acronyms or all these terms you have to provide um, a glossary of uh, terms so that people understand the terminology that you use and so glass grocery is uh, uh, invaluable and uh, work cited ethically uh, whatever you have included uh, you should uh, refer it properly uh, so if you use research to write long report include uh, work cited reference pages so you need to appropriately uh, show the resources for example uh, uh, like here or uh, appendices a formal optional component in is an appendix appendix appendices allow you to include any additional information so any extra kind of survey results or tables uh, that you use some previous previous report findings some tables that you want to add and uh, any valuable information that if the someone uh, reading the report needs to go and make a reference in detail so appendix is a perfect place to file uh, some some kind of a non essential but needed uh, data so using research in long formal uh, reports it's it's important long and formal reports need uh, uh, research and uh, research is a major component for a long uh, formal report it is essential component somehow because of uh, main reason is uh, often your own comments uh, drawn from your experience well, uh, how well the experiences will lack details and development and authority to be sufficiently persuasive so you need you, you you need research for the following reasons what are the reasons number one you need to create your own contents then you have to support uh, the commentary and content with details then pro you pro you need to prove the points emphasize the importance of an idea okay some other people might have referred it though this is uh, the problem might be might be a very difficult one and has the uh, reliability of the opinion show the importance of the subject to the large business community and uh, address the audience need for documentation and uh, substantiation research uh, it can be of two types secondary and primary secondary research when you rely heavily on the published uh, information like books periodicals research reports encyclopedia proposals teaching documents and this require of course the parenthetical uh, source citations when you use primary research is about when you uh, wh whatever is generated by you or you when you perform your uh, research this is the original research which is called primary research you prepared a survey for example and analyze the data or perform some simulation ideas or experiment in laboratory to get new results 
now coming to uh, the next uh, after one semester you will be in seventh semester and you will be doing your FYP so FYP is a formal report it's better to go through it uh, the report is uh, given as a final year FYP guidelines electrical uh, uh, department uh, guidelines report will be given to you this is a, a little format for you that uh, you have to provide you see the formality is provided to you in terms of list of figures tables abstract introduction this is what you have to provide in introduction and then the theory the block diagram of about your project your circuit diagram programming code cost analysis conclusion and references so this is a formal report so this will be the first important very important formal report for you that you will write in your final year uh, project and the mainly the program learning outcomes that we uh, want you to uh, show in, in this report and the overall FIP is you have to show the your engineering knowledge uh, PLO 1 the problem analysis will be tested engineering the engineering and society PLO 6 you have to show the ethics individual and teamwork and communication which is communication PLO number 10 so and of course the the whole thing is uh, uh, you can exhibit uh, the whole thing and FIP uh, on top of uh, using on, on top of the project management learning outcomes so the questions might come like um, mm, there might be for example you think what are the reasons for writing the long formal reports think about it comparative compare informative analytical and recommendation reports what are the components of a long formal reports and uh, how to distinguish between the primary and secondary research report uh, thank you very much this is the end of lecture and uh, I hope uh, we will uh, yeah, you have learned a lot from this long report and see you in your uh, and this will be very helpful for your uh, uh, final year project thank you very much